She is the first tiger that's uh, all over it, which is not a surprise to us. So the first tiger coming across onto the island there, his name is Reggie. He's followed by Scout, and then behind Scout on the log is Delilah. So uh, these are our three cubs. Delilah on your left-hand side is the female. She's about 60 kilos. Scout in the middle there is uh, her brother. He's about 75 kilos. Uh, and they are brother and sister. Now Reggie, the little one on the end there, he is their cousin. So he is related to them, but he's not from the same litter. So he's two months younger. So Scout and Delilah are one year of age. They turned one last week. And little Reggie, who is in the middle at the moment, he is 10 months of age. So he'll turn one in uh, two months' time. All right, Missy, big jump. Here we go. Belly flop. Oh, Reggie, good boy. Give him a big clap there, guys. Reggie's in the pool straight away, which is uh, good to see. Now, the two may not get into the pool straight away. It might take them a little bit more encouragement. Reggie, however, doesn't need much encouragement at all. He's certainly... A very excited young cat, and uh, we probably coin him with only child syndrome. He gets all the attention and gets to do whatever he wants. Uh, so I think sometimes when he does play with the other two, he likes to get the toys straight away. That way uh, he's in control of them. So you'll see at times Reggie will try to do dollars short every single day. So we like to uh, be creative with our toys and bring out a, a few different things throughout our play sessions. Now uh, this is simply just a plastic bag. <laughs> Good kill. A uh, plastic bag uh, attached to the end of a stick there with also a lid on top. So it just makes a bit of noise. Something that makes noise is very exciting to the cubs. They absolutely love to be able to chase things around and, and bite the plastic. Uh, things like barrels and balls are really exciting as well. We'll often bring those out for the cubs and for the adults as well. And you can see uh, Reggie, even with that plastic over there with the uh, protein container, cannot tame or domesticate these animals. Just because they're born into a zoo, that we've worked with them for their whole lives, they're not tame. So it is really important that we keep them happy. And we have found that over the years, playing around with toys allows them to get rid of a lot of that energy that they would store up. And obviously in the wild, they would and they'd stalk their prey, then once they get close enough, they would release all their energy, chase after their prey, and make a kill. Now obviously that doesn't happen here at the zoo. So one of the ways that we've been able to find releases a lot of that energy is by bringing toys out, running around with them and playing around like this. Now, I prefer not to run around over smaller toys and we have to use bigger toys. But at the moment, we're certainly now and for at least the next two years, we'll get a lot of activity out of these guys. Here we go, big jump from Scout. What do you reckon, mate? You going to get in the pool today, buddy? Going to make Simon work hard. Scout's normally the cat that likes to sit at the edge of the pool and play lifeguard. And sometimes he would prefer us to walk over to him, open his mouth, place the toy in his mouth, then close his mouth, and then let him play with the toy. But uh, we might, it looks like he's pretty excited today, guys. So if we can get the big fella in the middle there, we can get him in the pool. I want everyone to give him a massive round of applause because it doesn't happen that often. Come on, buddy, you got your front paws wet. What about the rest? And Simon's doing a good job trying to get uh, Scouty in the pool there. Looks like a little tiger shark in the water there. Delilah is going to come and get it. What do you reckon, buddy? Maybe not. I reckon we'll get him in today, guys. So we'll certainly keep your eyes and ears peeled. Uh, it also shows how much you guys will pay attention. If Scout jumps in the pool, certainly give him a big round of applause. Looks like Reggie's pretty happy at the back here. He's munching on the toy. And Simon will keep playing around with Delilah in the water there for a moment. Then he'll go back and uh, get another toy and see if we can get a bit more activity. Now, uh... Here we have 14 tigers in total, so throughout the day we do a lot of different things with them. It's really important to play with them regularly. Uh, we've been working with them ever since they were born. We've been playing with them ever since they could basically run around and open their eyes. And uh, that allows us to develop a very strong relationship. So with uh, handlers, when they first start working with us, uh, it takes a long time to build up to this. Here we go, big jump. <laughs> Good girl. So uh, Simon's been working with us for about three and a half years now and uh, he started developing his relationship with some of our cats when he first started but he's been working with these guys ever since they were born. So uh, his relationship with them is very strong of course and that's what allows him to be out here playing around. Now if you guys got a job with us today, you're probably looking at about six or so months before you could start playing around with these guys. Uh, the older they get, the harder it is to develop a relationship. So uh, obviously if they were one or two years of age, it would take one or two years. Uh, if they were three or four years of age, you're looking at four or five years before you can safely work with them. So the younger they are, the better it is to develop that relationship.
And as I said, a newer handler would take a fair few months to be able to get up the uh, skills as well as the relationship needed to play around with, it, uh, with the cats like this. But uh, tigers love water. Uh, they are one of only two big cats that will utilise water in this way. The other one being the jaguar. In fact, tigers have uh, some skin in between the digits of their paws, which there in the water goes everywhere. We've uh, had some of our cats get that excited when they're playing around, they hit the water that hard that the people in the front row have actually been wet before. So probably won't happen today, guys, because Scout doesn't uh, get that excited. But we certainly have had our cats jump in the pool before and splash everybody out there, which is always pretty funny from here, watching all of you guys try to hide from the water. All right, here we go. Another jump from the side here, buddy. Big jump, Scouty. Good boy. I can't believe Scout's running around so much. This is a bit surprising. I haven't seen him do that for a while. But uh, you can see Reggie at the back here, guys. Mark's been able to get the uh, protein container off him. And it uh, looks like Delilah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> So Delilah's been a little bit naughty here with Mark. So uh, I'll just explain that for a moment, guys. You can see just how excited Delilah was for that toy. So it had absolutely nothing to do with Mark. She had nothing against Mark there. She just really wanted that protein container. Now, that's okay that she has a drive and a desire for that toy. What's not okay is that she's ignoring the handler. So, when she was coming up to Mark then, Mark was asking her to back up. It's been used in traditional Asian medicines to cure ludicrous diseases like cancer and AIDS. We all know that tiger bones and body parts cannot cure cancer. It's been medically and scientifically proven, yet they're still being killed every day. Playing around. He might go out and get another toy shortly as well, see if we can encourage a bit more activity from the cubbies. We have a few different toys out in the back. It looks like uh, Reggie is all over this one. What do you reckon, buddy? Here we go. Big jump, Reg. Big jump, Simon. Yeah, good on you, buddy. 